Okay, so I want to prove that this language, which is the set of all strings of the form 0 to the 2n, 1 to the n, where n is at least 0, is not regular. So here we'll use a standard pumping lemma proof technique. So let's suppose that L is regular. Then, as always, we need to pick a pumping constant P for, uh, not pick, we know that there is a pumping constant P for this language. So there exists a P for this language. I'm just shorthanding saying pumping constant here. Okay, well now we need to pick a string that's in the language and has length at least P. Well, the common technique whenever you have ends and exponents and stuff is put the P where the N is. It doesn't always work, but it is a generally a good idea. So let's choose the string W equal to 0 to the 2P, 1 to the P. And this is clearly in the language because I just substituted the number in and uh, has length at least P, well, length at least 3P, which is fine. So now what we need to do is to look at all decompositions, I'm just gonna shorthand the word, of W into X, Y, and Z, according to the three the two rules, which are that X and Y together have at most P characters. So the first two bits have at most P characters. And the Y bit is non-empty, so it has at least one character. Well, if X and Y have at most P characters, and they're the beginning of the string, they must entirely consist of zeros. So, and I don't know how many zeros they have. They have some number though. So let's just say X has alpha zeros in them, in it. Y has, it could be a totally different number. Let's call it beta. And we know beta is at least one because we know uh, Y is non-empty. And Z is the rest of the string because there are only three parts. So we're gonna have zero to the two P because that's what we started with, minus alpha because that's what the X part had, minus beta because that's what the Y part had. And we have all of the ones here because the first two pieces never touched the ones. So we need to now choose a value I such that X, Y to the I, Z is not in the language because we want to escape the language because that would contradict the statement in the pumping lemma, uh, that it, the fact that this was regular. So well, let's choose an I such that X, Y to the I, Z is not in the language. Well, what is X, Y to the I, Z? Well, that is, well, let's just copy and paste the pieces down. So we're gonna have zero to the alpha, zero to the I beta because we had uh, y is zero to the beta and we have i copies of it and then the z part I'm just gonna uh, paste down so zero to the 2p minus alpha minus beta 1 to the p and we have a consecutive run of zeros here so let's just collapse all the exponents together so that is the same thing as well the alphas are gonna get killed off here because we have a plus alpha minus alpha so we're gonna have 2p, because that was not killed by anyone, plus i beta, because that's from the y, y bit, minus beta, because we have this minus beta here, and then one to the p here, because we never touched that. Okay, so we want to see when this thing is in the language so we can pick an i for which it isn't in the language. So this is in the language, if and only if, um, Let's see, well, the language says that the number of zeros at the beginning is twice, exactly twice the number of ones at the end. So that means that two times this number is equal to this number. So 2p plus i beta minus beta equals 2p. That's the condition to be in the language. Well, here we can just subtract from both sides and this is the same, this is in L if and only if this is true. So we're gonna have I beta minus beta equals zero. I'm gonna add beta on both sides and divide by beta because I'm allowed to do that because beta is not zero, it's at least one. 
So that's if and only if i is equal to 1. And you can kind of see that here. Well, let's just pick an i that's not 1. <laughs> so this is kind of like the 0 to the n, 1 to the n proof, but the condition to be in L is slightly different. So let's choose i equal to 2. <laughs> and that will be enough because we're going to be adding some zeros in the beginning and not changing the number of one. So the relationship of it being exactly twice as many is not going to be held anymore. Cool. So 0 to the 2n, 1 to the n is not a regular language.